gallops were originally written for use during the heyday of the circus as a way for the musicians to both show off and excite the crowds. Gallops have many of the characteristics of a march, but they are typically played at a faster tempo, often speeding up to a frenzied ending. During the circus, any performance that consisted of fast-paced stunts like daredevil acts or trick riding would probably have been performed to a gallop. Although we don't have any high wire acts for you today, we are happy to show off for you, in circus band style, this exciting streamer. What we like most about this piece is how fast paced and fun it is. Hope you enjoy. Good job, Melissa. <laughs> Sketches is based on a collection of traditional Scandinavian folk songs. The first movement, Holland, is a vigorous athletic dance frequently performed by the young men of the village to show off. This setting is based on an arrangement by Edward Grey Grey, who wrote it for Old Bull, the great 19th century violin virtuoso. The second movement, the Melody from Valdres, is a peaceful lullaby from a village high in the mountains in central Norway. It is characterized by a gentle rocking motive heard throughout the piece. The third movement, Paul of the Hillside, is a cheerful tune still played by traditional folk groups in the villages beside the fjords of Norway and Sweden. What I like best about this piece is that the complexity of the piece is really high.
the composer of Factory Riffs, grew up in Detroit, where he was never far from the huge manufacturing center of the auto industry. Since his childhood, he has been fascinated with the rhythmic feel and complex collection of sounds found in the manufacturing process. He states that Factory Riffs is inspired by the reverberations of innovation and creation. What I like best about this piece is how Matt Conway takes factory sounds and turns them into music. <laughs> Just like with sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade, you can tell a big difference between the first concert of the year and today, tonight's concert. So really, really pleased with the progress.
So, eighth grade is supposed to play on Friday evening at the Music in the Parks Festival. In the flood. <laughs> and right now, I don't know if you've seen a picture of the park, but it's... it's Underwater. It's water in the park. Yeah, you can, it's a water park. All right, so we're going to be flexible. We're going to we're going to get some information from them. They're trying to figure that out, and as soon as we know that, we'll kind of blast it out, right? So that the plan is we're still going to play on Friday evening, uh, maybe just not on the Ark. Uh, so we'll let you know. We'll let you know. So we'll, we'll play the Vivo and we'll play the Nordic sketches that we worked on uh, and that uh, prepared for you tonight, but we also uh, will play those for the judges at Music in the Parks. If you are an eighth grade parent and have kind of misplaced the packet of information that talks about high school band, I told them where they could find it. There's a website that they can get online and they can find it. And so if you still need to turn in that slip that says, yes, I'm gonna be in high school band, uh, then uh, you can send that into the PO box and uh, you can find that slip online. Ask them, they wrote it down. And if they didn't write it down, tell them to come ask me and I'll make them write it down. I just wanted to say thank you so much from sixth grade to eighth grade for encouraging the expressive and creative side of your kids because that's something that's super important. And I think it's not any shortage of because of that reason that these are some of the kindest, most passionate, most wonderful kids that a person could have the pleasure of knowing. So that's all your fault. And um, yeah, it is. And I always tell the kids that, that music is for sharing and that's why we work so hard and that's why we, we prepare this music so that we can share it with our people. So it was has been our extreme pleasure to share our music with you tonight. So thank you so much for coming. theater and film score composer and piano player. He is best known for his scores for films produced by Walt Disney Animation Studios and his music for The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, and Pocahontas won him eight Academy Awards. He has also composed the scores for Little Shop of Horrors, Newsies, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Hercules, Enchanted, and Tangled, among many others. Disney Blackbirds Busters celebrates four of Meccan's most famous contributions to film music. They are Under the Sea, Beauty and the Beast, Friend Like Me, and A Whole New World. What I like most about this piece is the famous Disney songs we play.
Right. Okay, so listen to the instructions, right? One of the things that we need to take care of is your instruments. Making sure that it does not get damaged, and make sure it gets back in its case. 